Where'd you drop? Oh, um, that's a lot of red. <laughs> you, you called me down here for this. It's a kid playing with a soccer ball. It's a head, and he's stabbing someone with a sword. Well, maybe it was in self-defense. Mr. Meyer, generally when kids exhibit this type of behavior, there's a problem. I have to take this. Sorry. L. Thanks for ratting out my kid on his first day. It's not my fault. I showed this to the school psychologist. She gave it to the principal. My hands were tied. So right away, it's Evan's fault? Did you ever consider that he didn't understand the assignment? I told the class to draw something that made them happy. All the other kids drew kittens and rainbows. Your son drew small intestines on the end of a stick. Let's cut to what this is really about. You hate me. And you don't want my son in your class. That is not true. It is too. You're still punishing me for what happened between us. You're stuck in the past and blaming me for your screwed up life. Okay, well, someone call Guinness because you just set the world record for the biggest load of crap in one sentence. Oh, bite me. How long was I gone? Uh, this is nothing, Mr. Hobson. We were just having a difference of opinion. Yeah. And my opinion is your teacher doesn't understand the difference between emotional problems and creativity. Shut up, Carl. Excuse me, did you just tell him to shut up? You know, this is typical Susan behavior. And you wonder why no man can stay with you. Would this seem any less shocking if I told you we were once married for 12 years? <laughs> 